This video tutorial covers Chapter 9 in the GIS Tutorial for Marketing book, Managing Sales Territories and also Route Optimization for Northwest Bass in Fort Worth, Oregon. Northwest Bass is a distributor of wine products in, in Portland, Oregon. It specializes in the vineyards of Washington and Oregon with exclusive distribution rights for the city. Uh, the firm will serve liquor stores and restaurants in the area and it's going to use a three-person sales force of three sales territories to do that. Because it's a new firm and is designing these sales stories from scratch, you must design territories that balance the workload and sales potential, and they're also concerned with driving efficiency. In addition to that, after the ter territories have been established, the firm is also wanting to use GIS for route optimization. So what you'll learn as you work through this exercise with Northwest Best uh, is how to use GIS to create sales territory systems in a balanced way. More specifically, you'll symbolize some of the wine purchasing patterns for uh, businesses in the area. Uh, you'll select prospects, in this case restaurants and liquor stores, and assign them to territories. You'll evaluate alternative territory systems using summary tables and visual analysis to look for drivability. And then you'll create a map to communicate territory characteristics and support the recommendations that you make. And finally, use network functionality to determine the optimal drive time uh, for sales calls. You'll start in task one of this chapter with an exercise in which you evaluate the purchasing patterns and sales outlets within the Portland, Oregon region. You'll use a base map of Portland and depict the number of households in each of its census tracts and you'll also display prospective customer stores by location and type of store. Then you'll calculate some of the average restaurant liquor store purchases in census tract uh, and then wine purchases per household for census tracts across the Portland area. And you'll end up with a map that looks something like this. It illustrates both liquor stores and restaurants uh, against the backdrop of a map that indicates the level of wine purchases per household. Your second task will be to assign prospective customers, in this case liquor stores and restaurants, to sales territories within the Portland, Oregon region. You'll add a territory attribute to each feature in the prospects layer to assign the territory. You'll select prospects based on their geographic location and then assign them to, to territories appropriately. This is an illustration of what that will look like uh, as you select prospects in each of the areas of the city uh, and assign them to sales territories. Then you'll use summary tables to balance the territories by sales levels. Uh, and This illustrates the, a map which uses the, the, the dots, the yellow, blue, and red dots to indicate the territories to which each prospect has been assigned. In the third task in this chapter, you'll take a look at two alternative territory systems, the one you've designed, uh, or similar to the one you've designed, and another one that was designed using a different set of priorities. You'll use group layers to display these systems and display the alternative territory systems on a map of prospects uh, so, and also that displays the highway so you can compare the drivability of the two systems. You use summary tables to assess the balance of prospects and also visually you'll analyze the system to try and improve driving efficiency. So for example here's the second alternative that you might use as a, to set up the territory systems for the company and you can evaluate that based on summary tables for you know, sales potential and also drivability. Then in task four of the, of the chapter, you will recommend one of the two territory systems to the company based on the objectives that they've laid out uh, and the performance of the two systems relative to those. So this is the type of information that you use. You have the two territory design systems in the upper left and lower right, uh, and then some graphs and tables which indicate some of the characteristics of the two systems. Uh, and you will produce a map which illustrates which of those you have recommended uh, and some of the data that, that supports your recommendation. Then finally in task 5, after the, the territories have been assigned, you would also use GIS to determine the best route for sales calls uh, within each of the territories. So we're going to use as an example uh, the Northwest, I'm sorry, the Northeast Territory. Uh, and how you would use network analysts to identify the 10 best prospects in that territory uh, and to create a map uh, and a route which serves them most effectively. So this might be the, the driving directions, for example, for the salesperson on the first day of their job uh, when they're trying to reach their 10 best prospects. On the left-hand side, you'll see the default route that's used if you use network analysts to perform this task. The default route simply takes 
sales calls in the order in which they're entered into the system. This might be the largest to the of the top ten to the smallest of the top ten for Jason Porter, who is one of the salespeople. Then on the right, uh, those same stops are optimized by route uh, so that you can reduce the amount of time that you're driving between them and maximizing the amount of time that Jason Porter spends on sales calls. This is an illustration of the route map that would be produced for Jason. And on the right hand side, the segment by segment directions for how he moves from one part of the route to another throughout his working day. So that illustrates some of these applications of, of GIS to sales territory and routing problems. Uh, as this company grows, these tools and requirements are going to become uh, more sophisticated uh, and need a greater level of, of uh, analytical skill uh, to be able to address them. Uh, you'll need to be able to take into account past sales records uh, and work at drive time to manage the established territories. You'll need to be able to integrate with the enterprise sales information that comes out of the IT system for Northwest Best. Uh, you will augment the data that you have here with some of the tools from the business analyst suite. Uh, you will use the results that you have here uh, from this analysis uh, and to interact with the customer relationship management program of the, of the company uh, and vice versa. Uh, and then you'll also work with the, uh, the routing for deliveries and other types of services that require uh, the company to, to identify the needs of particular customers and serve them at their location. And then finally wireless mobile will allow uh, sales managers and representatives to reconfigure those routes uh, and calls during the day uh, as they go on. There are some other organizations that illustrate some of this type of application and actual practice. These are just a few of those. Inc. Tech, the Florida-based firm that used to align GIS to align its territories in Chicago, uh, and then several companies, the same thing with Map Analytics, several companies in as well that use GIS tools uh, for routing applications. Uh, two of the most significant are there at the bottom, the Sears Holding Company. Uh, which has used GIS in, to route service calls with a tremendous uh, increase in efficiency and reduction in cost, and the U.S. Postal Service, which uses the same sort of tools to realign their uh, delivery routes uh, and delivery. That concludes this video tutorial on Chapter 9 in JS Tutorial for Marketing on the use of GIS to manage sales territories and route optimization.